Hello from Slovenia again. I will try to do this open cup, ring pouring open cup again, but today I will use, you see, this bottom that uh, you can buy this flower shaped thing. Where is my other? Okay. Uh, with eight petals, so you see, I used that one last time and I kind of didn't like it, so I think that this two will not be. And this is, you see, you have this uh, uh, flower shaped cup kind of, or you can have this open cup, and I will use this one today and I will do just a normal normal not split cup ring pour I will just pour some paints that I have left here into this cup and see what will happen and do a ring pour. And I will do two layers. So.
this once more. Just add the white here because I want some more paint. I have to put my canvas in the middle. Really strange result. Do I have some purple somewhere to pour it here on this corner? Just to cover this white because strange result really is it has some <clears throat> nice uh, rings in it but still I don't know just different so let me try to show you it has this blended kind of rings. I love it there when I see this blue and green underneath and some gold. See, but here I mostly have my violet. I don't know, but it is kind of interesting. I so I will leave this one to dry too and see how this will dry and how it will look. You see this lines underneath, kind of. See that? So interesting in a way. So, <laughs> another experiment that it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe. I will try to drag a little lines here in the middle and leave it to dry and see what will happen. If every petal would be like this here in the middle, I would be happy, but they are not, you see. On this part they are much more blended than in this part, so I don't know. <laughs> but we have to experiment if we want to find something that maybe it will be a little different and nice. And when you have some paints left in your cups, it's always nice to try something new so this is it for today and see you on the next one bye